Welcome back. And just in case you're only tuning in now, you're watching Sports Central, the show that guarantees you your weekly fix of sports action. That's what's up. And we have some awesome news for you. And for this, by the way, I just have to get into character. So let's do this. Some say that he can run faster than Usain Bolt. And he can do it with both his eyes closed and listening to reggae music. And all I know is they call him the stick. Ish, Mike, are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you at all. You know what? While Mike is trying to get his intro together for Stig, we're going to go ahead and tell you that we realize Kenyans really don't know enough about Formula One racing. However, we did catch up with one young up-and-coming driver who has his heart set on getting to the top of the very competitive sport. Take a look. I'm Jeremy Ohame. I'm 17 years old and I'm racing in the British Formula 3 Championship. I started racing when I was eight. It started for fun and then as I got interested in it then I started getting more competitive and I did the Rift Valley Motorsports Club Championship which is a more competitive go-karting championship and then as that progressed I moved on to Formula BMW Asia Cup in Malaysia and now I'm racing in the UK in the British Formula 3 Championship. I think as I'm not only racing for myself in these championships, but I'm also representing my country, Kenya. So I'm proud to have the Kenyan flag on my helmet and on my suit and also to show people that also Kenyans can do these sports where Kenyans haven't been seen before and show them that, yeah, we're here to win and we can do this. My family have been with me every step of the way. They've supported me from day one, from go-karting, and then when I told them I want to do this, I'm interested in this, they've always been there for me and they've always helped me achieve my goals. So they've been really supportive. In Kenya, we only had, we really only had one track, which was in Salai, so that's where all the races were held. But I think now there's another track in Maimahe, so back then I didn't have much variety, so we only used to race at one track, so I didn't really have a favourite. So far my highlight was in, was in Malaysia when I managed to finish on the podium in an international event. So I was really happy with that. I finished second twice and third once, so that was a really good result and I was the overall rookie winner. So amongst the first timers I was the best of all of them. So that was my highlight so far. In terms of racing, my ultimate goal would be to reach Formula One. So now I'm on the, I'm moving up the ranks, getting closer year by year. So Formula One is my ultimate goal. It takes a lot of hard work to make it to Formula One. Not, you don't only have to have the talent, because everyone has the talent, but it all comes down to who works the hardest, who is the most persistent. And with racing, it's not like most other sports where, where like football, you can keep playing football. But in racing, you also have to take time out and do more work outside the track to ensure that you're giving your best performance on the track. So in terms of fitness, preparing with your engineers before the race. So it's not only on the track, but also behind the scenes takes a lot of hard work to get there. I think I have three outright favorites in Formula One. First of all, it's, it's Lewis Hamilton, because when I started racing, that's when he won his World Championship. So that's when I got to find out about Formula One, and he was the best then. So I started following him, and then I saw how good of a driver he was. the fastest in qualifying, he does the best overtakes, he's, he's the bravest. So I look up to him to try to get some of those qualities. And then there's also Daniel Ricciardo, who's he's a fun character in the Formula One world. And 
and also Max Verstappen because he's young just like me, he's 18 and he's already won a Formula 1 race so that shows me that even us young guys can do it, just keep working hard and you can get there. Ocon versus Brian Meisner versus Serranis, Verstappen is in the mix as well and Menezes tries to join in, Verstappen round the outside, brilliant move, brilliant, Verstappen leads, Ocon tries to fight back but he can't do it, this season just how brave a driver Verstappen is. For those individuals who want to do racing but it's, it's not a common sport yet in Kenya, just Keep, keep following your dreams, there's no big dream too big or too small, just one day you get a chance and you have to be ready, so keep, keep working at it and you never know what can happen, just be persistent and your dreams are valid. So for those who want to follow on my racing journey and find out more about what I do, you can follow me on Facebook on Jeremy Ohome Racing and on Instagram and Twitter on at Racing, and you can enjoy the journey.